you have the impact on families and caregivers in general. So like your relationships with your partners and your significant others, right? When you're, there's a reason why the majority of divorces occur in the first, you know, four years of after having children for the first time, because having children is incredibly stressful and it changes the nature of your parenting relationship naturally, right? Because kids take a lot of attention. So you automatically don't have as much attention for yourselves. For this population where you have kids who need more over time and they decline more over time, that never goes away, right? Like normally your kids get to a place and you're like, oh, we can reconnect. You get all this, but for these boys, like that persists, right? And you can quickly find yourself all of a sudden 10 years later, like we've been living different lives, right? Just trying to survive. And like, I don't, we don't really have this partnership. And then that adds either stress, right? Sometimes families dissolve. And now that's even more stressful because caring for these boys with two adults is hard enough, let alone doing that as a single parent. The expectations prior to giving birth are real, right? Like nobody is sitting there being like, oh my gosh, I hope I have kids with chronic medical conditions. That's horrific and gonna cost all this time and money and pain. This would, sounds super fun. No, you have all these hopes, expectations, dreams for your kid. You give birth, you're doing great. And then you start to notice these things over time. And there's a grieving process to that. And not everybody grieves the same, right? Like parents grieve different. And that in and of itself can cause stress on your relationship, right? Because you don't know that until you're in it, right? It's not like you're sitting there through prospective partners and be like, okay, but like, this time you care, like, what would you do if your mom died? Like, you're not going to have that conversation and like, they're not going to know. So even if they tell you what they would do, they might actually not do that thing because they've never been in it. And so we just, there's parts of us that we just don't know about another person until we're in it that can just sometimes be incompatible, right? Likewise, the things that these boys sometimes need are not compatible with who parents are, right? Like not every parent is incredibly patient. Not some parents have ADHD. Some parents have their own mental health issues. Some parents, you know, have very high stress jobs. Like some parents, you know, just there's not always a good fit or a good mismatch. And that's not your fault. That doesn't make you a bad parent because you're like, have a less tolerance than another parent for tolerating some of these things, or it just makes you human, 